just listen to something and realize once again why I don't fuck with news or TV. Poor Bill Maher. There can't be anything worse than at one time being relevant and now you're just an old white man that used to pay black women for sex and now you can't get no pussy no more. Damn, bro. I get you mad. I get it. <laughs> Woo! That motherfucker that got old and angry. Shit. Hollywood ain't fucking with his big nose ass, and black women don't want none, don't want his money or none of that pink ass, old ass dick. Damn. Damn. Anyhow. Okay, I like that. That's a score. You know what? I got some good wins today. I got two good wins. I beat um, Kansas City after they won yesterday <laughs> and beat Baltimore earlier. And I'm about to go online and bang out with my 75 Justin Herbert, 75 Jamar Chase, 75 Debo Samuel, 75 David Joku against teams that are all 100. And the reason I'm going to do it is because that's how you get better. Man, that was sad. Just, just old white. Just, damn. Just mad at the world. <laughs> that motherfucker hates young people, women, people of color. He just going to die angry. You know, it's kind of an interesting thing. So he's an atheist. So I, I've known atheists, and, and everybody knows that I can't stand religion. I only believe in God. Religion is ridiculous, and actually that's the same thing that Jesus believed, so I win. But anyhow, um, what would it be like if you didn't believe in anything? You ever thought about that? If you didn't believe that there was a greater purpose... See, I always say that no matter how many times God will wipe man from the earth, every time he brings man back, there's going to be three perpetual things that will be the first thing, three things there. There's going to be a uh, prostitute. There's going to be a uh, preacher, pastor, monk, whatever the fuck, whatever he is, the guy that stands at the front of people acting like he knows God. There's going to be that guy, and then there's going to be a motherfucker standing in the back looking at both of them and going, now, how the fuck do I make some money out of this motherfucker? How do I pimp this motherfucking female and this motherfucker over here talking about God? Because at the end of the day, we're so two-dimensional and non-three-dimensional that all we have is the ability to believe in something that gives us a second chance after the end of this life. And... I always say the reason that I believe in God is because of somebody who came along with, no, you know, from zero. Uh, and he put place people in my in my life that, that, that brought me along when I was all alone in the world. That there's been too many glories, including one I just had last month that tells me there's something greater than me. I don't give a damn if this is the Matrix, if it's the Truman Show. I don't give a fuck what it is. There's some shit that knows me that I can't even comprehend. And the reason that's important, and when you see atheists, you never see them giggly, is because if you don't believe in anything, that you just believe that at the end, you live this entire life, and then you're just like a dead bird in the middle of the street, or a dead fish on the motherfucking beach. There's nothing to you, no history, no nothing, you're just dead meat, right? So, There's a very good possibility that that could be true because none of us know shit. Nobody ever stood in front of you and tried to tell you they knew shit, knew shit. Didn't know a damn thing. Nobody's come back from the dead. Don't know shit. All right? They know the motherfucking thing. Just know, just saying out loud what somebody told to them from the time they were five. That's all the fuck everybody standing in front of you talking is doing. Saying to you their version of what somebody said to them in Sunday school when they were five. Now, why do I think for human beings, because we're such savage, vicious motherfucking predators, 
out of all the animal kingdom, far more than sharks or lions and tigers or any fucking thing. Anacondas, none of that shit fucks with us. We only ones that murder for, for, for fun and for, 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 for a bust of nut. So why do I think it's important? I think it's important that I believe there's somebody looking over me because if not, why wouldn't I eat you? Or why wouldn't you eat me? Right? Now, those, those that will say, well, you don't have to believe in, a, in, a, in an entity for that, for to have moral clarity. Yeah, you don't, but I'll tell you what, I've met a whole bunch of people in 60 years, and most of them motherfuckers, if they didn't think that there was something bad that could happen to them, whether it's from a law enforcement perspective or a motherfucking after-death perspective, they're taking everything in your motherfucking wallet. And I ain't even talking about uh, from black to white to every damn thing. Everybody has to have a guardrail because humans with no guardrails are clowns. Everyone. Every human with no guardrails is a clown. Now, I'm about to play. Why did I go off on that thing? Because I just sat up and watched Bill Martin. I'm sitting up here looking at this old white dude who's had everything in his life. And, and like I put on a thing, you had everything. Why we, white people are the only people in the world that can have everything in the, given to them or at least presented before them, whether or not they have the skills to grab it in the world and still be mad that they can't go take a shit on the moon. Literally willing to blow your fucking head off because they can't take a shit on the moon. So, that was me on my version and response to Real Time with Bill Maher. Now, go stay white and angry and old motherfucker until you rot in the fucking grave. You angry trick, big pussy pain, play black women to have sex with you while you racist fucking creeper trick. Thank you. I am done. Now, anyhow, back to what I was saying. I sit up here and I'm looking, I'm like, my offense looks really good even though it's shitty compared to others when it comes to numbers. It really is. Let's see here. Just big mad trick. Just mad as fuck. Just trick, just tricking, just big trick. Yeah, let's go online and see what this bitch can do. We're doing well in season right now. We five and two. With the Miami Dolphins, by the way, when I should be six and one. I got a bullshit tie. Uh, with the Miami Dolphins, and no, not Tua. I tried, didn't work. My quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, as if you didn't know. Who makes big throws under pressure? Let's go. Got my ass kicked on this motherfucker the other day, but then at the end I went and got me a motherfucker. Let's see. Shut him up, dude. Let's see. I look at some shit in here. I like that. Yeah. I gotta get these two pointers stopped. What the fuck? Now you know how I'm gonna do that. I gotta just come. Okay. Nope, that ain't it. Okay, I need my two, but that ain't it either. I can't believe I chose that. And now, let's see what we can find here. Let's go. We gotta be on that shit off jump. Let me try this. Try this. Let's just blast at them. Fuck it. If they score, they score. Just blast at their ass. And zone. And. Not flat buzz. Well, flat buzz is good. Yeah, flat buzz. Give flat buzz a chance. Let's see what that does. That's my new two pointers. See if I can at least stop them from getting fucking two. I got free fire three flat buzz, flat buzz out the um goal line D. Free safety Mike Blitz three out the four three. They're both four threes, and then the free fire when I send all the backers. I like that. All right, my first downs. 
I've just been blasting, just like, come get me. Looking short. There's 3D Bunder right there. And then... We blitz everything else. No double safety... See how... Double safety blitz that too for them. Uh, keep my mic dying blitz. Okay. What about that wheel sound three? I need to look at that. Pinch block on three, I'm sure. Take that out. Okay. Come back to Blitz. Yeah, because I was about to be real mad. And I'm still like hearing the stupid shit him and Trace Atkins and them and something. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. You're a trick. My bad. The fuck am I mad at a trick for? There we go. Big bacon trick, too. Fucking all that shit. You know, we just. You know, blousy, blousy, bleasy, blue shit. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. It's like most of motherfuckers, he even admitted it on TV. I'm just, I wish I was black. Like, yeah, we know, we know, we know you do, we know. We know, we know bro, we get it. We get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Yep, 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 we get it, we get it, we get it. Oh, do you? Oh, wow, how shocking. Wow, we get it, we get it. Really? Wow, who would have ever thunk that? Wow, that's amazing. That's certainly unusual. Who would have ever thought that? Fuck out of here, man. Anyhow. <laughs>